What's good, guys? Prince Sports here. Now, Draymond Green, don't think I forgot about you, okay? I gave you props, okay, for stopping the Joker, pitting the clamps on him, having a great defensive job on a guy that's labeled as a superstar, but he's really an all-star, okay? But nevertheless, I give you credit for stopping that. But no, you can't let it stop there. We got to overrate and overhype a guy like Draymond Green and start trying to call him a top five greatest defensive player of all time, which is bullshit because there's over 25 players or more I can name that's better all time defensively than Draymond Green, okay? You act like um, Draymond Green is this guy that stopped everybody when he actually stopped more role players because he is a role player than actual superstars where there's guys here that's actually defending superstars and stopping them. Okay, as a matter of fact, Draymond Green, you're borderline Pat Bev. You're on the same level with Pat Bev until you could prove otherwise. Pat Bev is one of the most underrated defenders that people don't talk about. All right. Now, Pat Bev is a guy that did something you can't do. He guarded LeBron James and stopped LeBron James. All right. Even though it was a regular season game, it's still more work that he did and got underneath LeBron's skin more than you ever did. The best defense you gave LeBron James was kicking them in the nads, all right, and costing your Golden State Warriors a championship while you sat in the car and cried and begged on, begged on your knees to go and get Kevin Durant. What's the matter? You can't beat LeBron James on your own? Even in 2015, you had no effect on LeBron James. Matter of fact, they were up in the series when you was guarding LeBron James, all right? They had to pay Iguodala on LeBron James to slow him down. Not you, Draymond Green. Oh, and that also brings me to the fact that Pat Bev got a win over a guy that dropped 40 on your head and prevent your Golden State Warriors from even making the playoffs last season. And that's John Morant. Oh, great one. Draymond Green, the, great, the greatest defensive player of all time. A top five all-time great. First ballot, MVP, uh, first ballot Hall of Famer. Bullshit. Take that triple single and shove it up your ass. You are not a top five greatest defensive player of all time. Period. Hell, there's plenty of guys in the league right now that plays higher level defense. And one more. Okay? Another guy is Jimmy Butler. Every team he went on, he turned them into instant winners. Okay? With his defense alone. He guards the best player on the opposite team. Something you don't do all the time, Draymond Green. You pick who you want to guard on defense. All right? Let's put it in context. The only superstar you stop, the only so called superstar or all star you stopped is the Joker. You can't guard Kevin Durant. You can't guard LeBron James. But I know several guys that can. Jimmy Butler guards those guys. Yeah, he gets, they score on him a couple of times. Sometimes guys hit game winners over him. But at least he takes a defensive assignment, something you don't do. At least he led his team to the finals most recently as being one of the capos of the team. You ain't no capo. You ain't no Don. You a role player. <laughs> okay? And another guy, Kawhi Leonard, guarded Giannis, beat him. Guarded LeBron James, beat him. Okay? God went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kevin Durant in the regular season. Got some W's over him. Beat him. You didn't do none of that. Kawhi Leonard's one of the best two-way players in the league when healthy. Multiple-time defensive player of the year for a reason. To call Israel defense over you, Draymond Green. He already guarded better players than you could ever imagine. Because you don't pick clamps on nobody. You didn't stop Giannis. You can't stop no Giannis Antetokounmpo. You a role player, dog. Oh, great one, Draymond Green. You couldn't let us just give you props for beating the Joker. Now we got to overrate you. But since we're going to overrate you, I'm going to have to expose you. Marcus Spart just won the Defensive Player of the Year. He guard perimeter plays. The league is surrounded by perimeter plays. It's perimeter orientated, right? So if he makes it to the finals this year and win a championship and beat you, he's better than you defensively. He would have earned it. He has a chance to earn it right now in the postseason. What you going to do about it, Draymond Green? Oh, greatest defensive player of all time? Bullshit. Anthony Davis. Help led his team to win a championship. Stop the Joker before you ever did. Beat that guy in five games. And led his team to an NBA championship. 
Let's see, can you do that without being carried by other All-Stars? All right? You're lucky to be playing on the same team with Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, and Steph Curry. All right? So miss me with that nonsense. You got a chance to prove yourself this year. Guard some superstars and lock, lock them down. Okay? Let's see what you do against some other some real superstars. See if you can lock them down. Oh, great. Greatest defensive player of all time. Dog, stop it. You ain't even better than my boy Ron Artest. Queens, New York in the house. Ron Artest was a better defender than you. And yes, he got a Defensive Player of the Year award too. Just like you. And yes, he gave the kiss of death to the Boston Celtics. Because he was a better scorer than you and a better defensive player than you. He was taking the assignments of guarding the Kobe Bryant. You wasn't. Man, you're an overrated, all-star, highly glorified role player. But at the end of the day, you're just a role player. Prince Sports out. Peace.